Good morning everyone from the Universal Orlando Resort where the sun is shining and today we're going to be visiting Universal Islands of Adventure. I am so excited for today, get back on Velocicoaster. Oh we love Velocicoaster so much, it's an awesome ride. Along with that you've got so many other brilliant attractions in this park including the Hulk, Spider-Man and Hagrid's Magical Creatures Motorbike Adventure as well. Some brilliant rides, a really nicely themed park and come and join us as we take you along for the experience today. I of adventure let's go and we're starting off here in universal city walk of course the entertainment area that connects the two parks here at universal and over on the right there you can just see the universal globe spinning round and we are going to be visiting universal studios next because it's also mardi gras at the moment as well and i'm really excited to see that i saw mardi gras a couple of years ago really enjoyed it and so uh, yeah charlotte's first time going to be enjoying that as well i'm looking forward to seeing that i've only ever seen it during horror night so i can't wait to see another event at the park yeah it's going to be fantastic well like i say in this vlog we're starting over at islands of adventure and there you can just see the iconic lighthouse off to the left hand side and the Hulk there just behind it as well. I do love it down here in City Wall though, especially seeing all the boats. They're all coming from the different resort hotels here at Universal. Let's go make our way over to the park. Always love walking into IOA and seeing this sign. The adventure begins. This is actually one of my favourite soundtracks and something that of course I'm really excited for is next year and the opening of the third theme park here at Universal Orlando and that is of course Universal Epic Universe. You know me, I love theme park music so I'm really excited to hear the full soundtrack. I believe that I'm a score of Germany for creating the soundtrack so yeah, really looking forward to hearing that. Yeah, this is one of my favourites here at the port of entry as we make our way into Islands of Adventure. I love strolling into the park and looking across the lagoon and seeing this amazing view. Of course, Jurassic World Velocicoaster there. Hogwarts Castle there just behind it as well. And what an amazing view when you walk into this park. Velocicoaster was built in the perfect location, wasn't it? Just over the water as the train makes its way down into that final inversion, the Mosasaurus Roll. Can't wait to get back on there. Oh, here she comes into the stall. Wow, looking forward to this. Are you, Charlotte? I'm so excited. I love Lost Coaster. Oh, it's a brilliant ride. I thought we'll start off with this today. Made the most of it. Nice morning ride. It does warm a lot throughout the day, this one. And of course, a night ride is always great on this as well. But yeah, I can't come to this park and not start off with it because I'm itching to get back on. Let's go. Jurassic World Velocicoaster. Coaster. Love these animatronics and the queue line of Velocicoaster. And down to the lockers, of course, with us being at Universal. No one ride filming, sadly. On most of the attractions, anyway. So we'll see you when we come off. Your items.
coaster and for a morning ride that was running amazing oh it was so good i mean i love velocity coaster anyway but i feel like with it being a little bit cooler at the moment it was riding even better because of that of course the temperature can really affect the ride experience and that was amazing we was down there on row 11 so second from the back oh it was riding so good two launches on there four inversions the top hat's incredible and of course that mosasaurus roll at the end it gets me every time you are flying out your seat just with the lap bar as well and going over the water like with your arms in the air you really do feel like you're going to touch the water of course you're not going to because there's quite a lot of clearance but when you're on the ride and going at that speed really does feel like it it's an amazing ride it really is and it was so nice getting back on it again my favorite coaster in florida would you agree i love it so much i have to agree with that one. Oh, it's an absolutely amazing ride it really is and it was great to get back on there and yeah we waited about 50 minutes for it so a little bit over what was advertised not too bad at all especially with it being a busy time to come to florida having a stroll through the wonderful lost continent here oh that was so good what a way to start the day velocicoaster comment down below if you've been on it and of course where you rank it i mean for me it's a top 10 coaster i do love it to bits yeah this themed area is really nice around here it's a shame that it's probably going to be going away in the near future with it not having any attractions now i do miss poseidon's fury and yeah i mentioned just how it's a very busy time look at this this is actually the queue all the way back for hagrid's magical creatures motorbike adventure like they've actually got an extended queue coming out of the wisdom world of harry potter all the way down here kind of reminds me of photos that i saw when it first opened but yeah it's very busy and that's the thing we've noticed so far this trip obviously we don't normally come in february our main reason for coming at this time of year was a bit of a bonus because we did of course the disney cruise it was all kind of planned around that it's definitely a much busier time to come to these parks than september so if you've never been before or want a quieter time yeah i definitely recommend september because it is very busy we've seen that down at disney as well and of course check out all those vlogs if you haven't already seen them strolling down here into hogsmeade I love this area though. I look at all the smoke coming out the chimneys. Wow. It's advertised on two hours for Hagrid's at the moment. 120 minutes. So yeah, I think we'll give that a miss for now. turning around the corner seeing the snowman just here in the foreground and then of course hogwarts up there on the hillside home to harry potter and the forbidden journey an absolutely amazing ride the good thing is it's got single rider quite a few of the queues at universal do have single rider so you can make the most of those if you are coming here when it's busier wow look at hogwarts Five minutes there, single rider for Forbidden Journey. It's a lifesaver on a busy day, that. Single rider is so good, and you're always guaranteed to just get on so fast. But I feel so sick. <laughs> you always do dating from that. It's when I go into the screens, I get really bad motion sickness on there, and I haven't took me motion sickness tablets today. <laughs> it's a fantastic ride, though, of course. Robo arm, you're making your way around through lots of different practical sets, and then into the projection domes on there as well. And yeah, I know a lot of people that do get a little bit sick from it. Myself, uh, I think I'm just used to it to be honest. I mean, I don't think there's any ride that really makes you feel safe. Oh, but I feel so sick. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I did enjoy um, getting back on there. It's fantastic. It's all the theming and the set design and the technology in there as well. I mean, you kind of lean on your back at one point, looking up at the Wampin Willow. You got Aragog in there, the Dementors that are also Robo Arms coming towards you. Uh, it's quite scary at points that ride, but I love it to bits. Up to Aragog, it's like <laughs> <laughs> he's like really close in your it's face. So he looks so hairy as well, doesn't he? <laughs> Very and scary. Uh, also out here, of course, you've got the little junior coaster. Flight of the Hippogriff just over there, so I'll put in a bit more off-ride footage of that for you.
Wisdom World for now. We're going to be head back later on for Hagrid's Magical Creatures Motorbike Adventure. <laughs> Love the interactive fountain just over there. I don't fancy getting soaked today though. Because it is a bit cool though. It looks really nice. But yeah, it's still like hoodie weather. And talking to getting soaked, Charlotte's quite happy, aren't you? Popeye's closed. Yeah. Yeah, this time of year, Popeye and Bluto's Bill's Rat Barges usually goes down for its maintenance and it is shut for us this trip. Brilliant! So you're not going to be riding Popeye's today? Uh, it's sad really because it's like one of the only rides you can film on in this park as well. But yeah, no Popeye's for Charlotte. Oh. Now Poseidon's Fury may have closed permanently but I still like making the time to come over and appreciate this amazing theming and wonderful facade. And yeah, it seems like Zelda is a rumour to be coming into this area, so it'll be interesting to see if it does. But yeah, here's a look at that amazing facade anyway. I do think though they should have just kept the attraction operating until they had plans to start work though, don't you really? It would have made more sense, like you've got a massive show build and just sat there doing nothing. Yeah, and then you've got the old theatre around the back there as well. Uh, yes, it's a big space, I understand they want to do something with it, but I think for now they could have just kept Poseidon's going really. It's lovely though just seeing the facade, I love this area of the park. And that's where the sign used to be across the front just there. Still have got the water feature turned on, which is great. <laughs> and you've got Mythos just over there as well, the big restaurant. The nice cascading waterfall on the front that always looks the part. Iconic, isn't it? Oh, I love seeing the big statue here. And with the flame effect in the top as well. Making our way then down through Seuss Landing. I think we're gonna head for Hulk next. Gonna have a ride over on that. And of course, Marvel Superhero Island's also home to another fantastic dart ride. And that is Spider-Man. This area, nice and colourful. Well, there's the cat in the hat just down here, and thing one and thing two. Hey, <laughs> they are. The cat in the hat. There he is. Hey, nice fair opportunity. <laughs> I like thing one and thing two. Seuss trolley running round above us there as well. One fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish. <laughs> this is a nice theme little flat ride. Some nice little war effects on here as well. I love the music. And the carousel's really nice down here too, very colourful. It's a lovely carousel. Really excited for the one in Epic Universe, the Constellation Carousel. That's going to be a big one. And yeah, like the structure of it looks amazing. Oh, with all stained glass on there. Yeah, I'm really excited for that. Another beautiful day. It's really weird the weather this time of year because now it's gone really warm all of a sudden. Hoodie's gone. Halloween Horror Nights tops out. Yeah, and I've got <laughs> me uh, Velocicoaster t shirt on today. That's a nice view, isn't it? Looking down at Hulk there, the loop and the Cobra roll. There's nice flower bed in Seuss Landing. Yeah, let's make our way over to Hulk. It has got a single rider, but we'll probably join the main queue if it's not too bad. Now here's the trolley. Wallow 
location as well. One of the most iconic roller coasters in the world, this. Opened here with the park in 1999. Incredible Hulk. Oh, there's Doctor Dooms just behind there as well. was brilliant that's the great thing about universal you can ask to go on the front and of course they will let you and uh, yeah we hardly waited any extra for that as well which is fantastic 60 minutes total away from the ride and you know what all the worth it listen to that bnm roll there just behind me it's an incredible ride i really enjoy it of course the force of the launch is great the inversion is fantastic especially the cobra roll which is my favorite element on there but along with that it really carries the speed and intensity so well throughout the layout even down there on the front it's a very forceful ride and then you've got the onboard soundtrack as well which really adds to the experience but you know me i love onboard sound it can really make a ride that extra bit special uh, but yeah, i really enjoyed that it makes me very excited to see what universal's next big coaster is going to be like and that is of course starfall racers over at epic universe when it opens next year two dueling Mac coasters that are both launched so looking forward to those but also we've got onboard sound and onboard lights as well so i'm really pleased that it's going to have that i think for me that's the only thing with velocicoaster i love the ride so much but onboard sound would have took that to the next level uh, but with the whole the onboard music it's brilliant that is going to be coming to start all races down at epic look at it go though what a view I used to look at pictures and videos of when I was a kid. Wanted to come to Florida and ride it. I love every time I go on it, you know. It is so forceful. Even on the front, you really feel the force. Yeah, it's a great ride though. And of course, it was retracked quite a few years ago. It basically had the Nemesis treatment. If Nemesis rides as good as the Hulk does now, I'll be really pleased. I think that's the thing with BM. They do these retracts really well, so I'm excited for that. It rides so well, but it's just so intense. <laughs> Here's a look over at Doctor Doom's Fearful. The two SNS shot towers that they got just there as well. We'll head back round into Marvel Superhero Island a little bit later on, of course, for Spider Man. Can't make the most of that. Now, we did mention that Popeye the Rapids is closed, but I have arranged for Charlotte to meet Popeye the Sailor Man just over there today as well, just for you. I'm going to tell him, thank you for having your ride closed. <laughs> there he is, Popeye the Sailor Man, just over there. Fantastic. I love it. We're here in Toon Lagoon now. The sign that I'm disappointed to see, but Charlotte's happy to see us there. The sign I love to see. Oh, Brilliant. there we go. To be fair, we knew it was going to be closed over this trip. Like I say, it was a bit of a last minute one with us just doing the Disney cruise. We wasn't expecting to be back in Florida uh, this February. So yeah, I knew that it was shut at this time of year. Normally anyway, for its uh, annual maintenance, but Popeye is closed. Oh, look at this happy dance she's doing over here. 
Oh, if you do want to see some footage though of Charlotte on Popeye, it is one of the rides you can actually film on here. Check out our vlog from September. It is a soaker. <laughs> it is. It's one of the wettest water rides out there. Uh, but I can see why they do the maintenance now. It looks like a lovely day today, and it is warmer now, but it's still not like soaker water ride weather, is it no, really? You've got to try and dry yourself off, and you, you would a little bit, but when, when the sun goes in, you'd still be there. You'd have to do it at like midday because yeah. you know it'd take a couple of hours to dry off. On the ground. Yeah, it's not like that. September humidity you know it is nice though coming here when it's a bit cooler this time very different time of the year for us to come you know and just see Florida in February so it's nice good news is though Ripsaw Falls is open just around here which is the log flume I don't think we'll go on that today though because again you do get quite wet don't fancy getting with jeans and everything soaked today normally if you're wearing shorts and stuff and with that humidity it's fine but yeah I don't fancy getting dripping wet through myself today coaster one of my favorite views of the coaster itself just here always looks the part just up against the big metal bars here looking into the paddock itself it really was an excellent addition to arms of adventure brilliant coaster and all this seeming and landscaping really looks great now all the trees all the plantings really grown up nice around here second launching up into the top hat brilliant another look into the paddock just here as well and Charlotte looking in at the Raptors can you spot them <laughs> Design this was when you're on the ride, you really do feel like you're gonna hit these rocks, especially if you got your hands in the air. Of course, there's plenty of clearance there, really, but it feels that way when you're on the attraction. Brilliant, I just love it, you know, it just really fits beautifully in this area. And yeah, right opposite the Raptor encounter that's just down there as well. Oh, Velocicoaster, so what a beauty! Well, River Adventures advertised on 75 minutes. It has got a single rider queue, so I think we're gonna give that a go now and see how fast it moves. Of course, you don't get too wet on here. It's more about the experience. Yeah, we're not gonna uh, do rips or falls today though, are we? Especially with it being a bit cooler, you know. Yes, fantastic. <laughs> Charlotte's happy, but we'll give this a go, single rider. Let's go on it. I don't think I've ever been in the single rider queue with this, so yeah, let's go for it. there in the single rider queue for Jurassic Park River Adventure. Hey Charlotte! I'm quite wet, I had my hoodie on, my hoodie is soaked, our whole boat got soaked. Yeah, so we ended up on the same boat even though it was in single rider. Yeah. And to be honest, like some people got wetter than normal on there, didn't they? Yeah, they did. I don't know if they get that well now because we're towards the back of the boat. All I'm thinking is there was a lot of people in the boat, they really packed it full because there was a bit of a single rider queue. So I'm thinking there was just that much weight in there that, that made it even wetter today. The people hmm. on the back were so wet. They were really wet, weren't they? Like not Popeye wet. But well, still pretty wet, you know, wetter than you want to get today, especially when it's going to get cooler later on in the evening. But it's a great ride, that is. 
brilliant ride experience. Of course, start off with the lift hill and making your way through them iconic Jurassic Park days. We've all seen all the huge dinosaurs, the waterfalls, the amazing landscaping, lots of rock work. It's great fun. And then you end up veering off into the raptor paddock accidentally um, before all sorts happening. You've got this big container that drops down as a really good kind of whoa moment. And then you make your way inside the building itself, up the lift hill, you got raptors coming at you, and then the big T-Rex up there as well before you drop down. It's a great overall ride experience that uh, I'd love to see it updated to the Jurassic World franchise in the future uh, to kind of fit with Velocicoaster and maybe a bit of a redo of the area. Uh, but you know what, it's iconic and it's a great fun ride. So yeah, really enjoy getting on it even though we got a little bit wetter than we were expecting now one of my favorite areas of universal islands of adventure is actually camp jurassic it's beautifully themed and it's well worth heading into at first it just looks like the entrance to the little coaster up there um, but no it is a full walkthrough experience to go on the flyers though you do have to have a child i've only ever been on it once <laughs> i'd love to go on it again at some point in the future though maybe when we have kids one day We'll get to ride it on there. Charlotte, you've never done it, have you? I'd get to go on it first because I've never been on it. Oh, go on then, yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, Camp Jurassic, well worth having a walk around. I just think it just looks like it's the entrance to flyers only, but no, it's a full walk around area with caves and everything, so it's well worth exploring. If you love theming, it's a good place to come. Come down here to the back of Camp Jurassic, that's where you find these caves. And it's pretty awesome in here. And if you are visiting like in September or a more humid part of the year, it's a great place to come and cool off as well. It's so cold in here. And all the mist. Underrated part of Islands of Adventure this. Look at this. You wouldn't know it was here. <laughs> Watch out for the water effect. <laughs> Are you alright? <laughs> Got this sprayer just out there. Oh! Oh, it's really cool up there. Oh my god! I've never seen that happen before. <laughs> you see that then? No. Oh! <laughs> it probably, Can you imagine if I'd have been going I know, through like it that? It probably still there. There you go. He's been saying about getting a cool off. You'll definitely get one of them in here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I've never seen that. I've come in here loads. I've never seen it all blast up like that. It's like a geyser. Oh, You'd have been a lot wet if you was on that bridge just. I'm so glad I went over when I did. Yeah, really cool in here though. You also get some of the best views of Velocicoast around here as well. So well worth taking some time out of your day to go and have an explore around Camp Jurassic. Look at that great view of Velocity. this like all the big nets some great views the flyers just out there as well like all the big nets that go all the way up it's cool up here i didn't even know these were here i've never been in these before i've never brought you back this no, way I've before. Never been in these before you've been in the caves and stuff though haven't yeah, you but i've never seen this yeah maybe we just didn't do them there you go you can kind of walk all around these and yeah it's really cool it goes quite high up actually as well there we go it's like a play area for anyone yeah, it goes all the way out the top. Here she comes! Whee! <laughs> I've never seen these before. Yeah, big bouncy net. It's quite steep up here. Can I do it holding a camera? We'll find out. Oh, oh this is the highest point up here. Velocity coaster over there. That's the thing, it's not just the coaster, Jurassic Park, River Adventure, she's here. 
And then you can see Kong just over there behind you as well. Look how this is. <laughs> well, yeah, it's great. Oh, what a really cool part of the park. I love little areas like this, especially when the park's busy as well. It's nice, you just get to see theme world and these big kind of play areas for anyone, like they're great. Really important parts of a park, little fillers like this. little hidden gem for you all there, Camp Jurassic, yeah one of them areas that not many people really talk about, mainly because it hasn't got a major attraction, other than of course the little family suspended coaster that's up there, but yeah it's nice in there isn't it? Oh it's so cute in there, there's some stuff that I didn't even know was there. Yeah it's the thing you just explore around there for ages, cool. nice little fillers. Skull Island Reign of Kong just over here, probably my least favourite ride in this park. I do like the animatronic at the end, but other than that, it doesn't really do a lot for me. This, of course, very heavily screen based. How long's the wait for Kong? Delayed. <laughs> we'll probably give Kong a miss though today, to be honest. It's one of them that, you know, we've done it quite a few times and it's just not for me. I've also heard as well but they're still not using this outdoor scene, which is actually my second favorite part of the ride after the animatronic. So yeah, normally you'd come outside here, past the big flame torches, kind of loop round here, and then the big doors would open into the building. It was quite kind of dramatic. You know, I really liked that to start the experience. But yeah, for quite some time, they've not been using this outdoor section because basically when it was built, it was designed that during wet weather and just general poor weather conditions, they can bypass the outside section to always keep it open. But then now they don't seem to be using that outdoor section even on nice days, so I'm not sure. It's such a shame, I don't know why they do that. Yeah, Kong's just, it's one of them, it looks the part, you think the facade and everything, oh it's going to be great, but it's a weaker ride. <laughs> hey, there goes Doctor Doom Fearfall again. And we're back here now in Marvel Superhero Island. We're gonna go and join the queue for Spider-Man now. I love this. Brilliant ride again, dates back to when the park opened, 1999. The amazing adventures of Spider-Man. Again, it's another one that we can't film on. That's always the sad thing at Universal. You know, we can't take you along on most of the rides. There's a couple of smaller bits you can film on. But yeah, apart from that, no POVs permitted, unfortunately, at Universal Orlando. Hulk looks great though, doesn't it, with his green track just over there. And here's the entrance to Spider-Man just here on the right. Let's go and see Spidey. Ten years of coming to Islands of Adventure, and I never knew that Spider-Man had this outdoor extended queue. I mean, it's advertised on 45, so not too bad. Obviously, yeah, just never been out here before. Like, it's his theme though, all down here. I just thought it only had the indoor queue, but now there we go. It's got this outdoor cattle pen just down here. This model of the scoop ride vehicle here in the queue line for Spider Man. We'll see you when we come off. Doesn't it? I can't believe how much it moves, like you're spinning into scenes, it's going up and down. 
I love Spider-Man, it's a great ride. It's fantastic, it's a really perfect balance between the screens and also the practical sets in there as well. You got like the Statue of Liberty that's toppled over, there's a fire effect, there's this truck that comes towards you in there. There's so much going on with all the different scenes and it's a really good ride. And for its age as well, 1999 that opened. Like, I'd love to have rode it back then because the technology still to this day is very impressive in my opinion. Um, now I think it's a brilliant dog ride, great getting back on there and that ride system as well is fantastic. Yeah, Spider-Man not to be missed. We waited about 40 minutes, so just under what was advertised. Well, other than Hagrid's Magical Creatures Motorbike Adventures, we've done all of our favorite rides here in this park. So I think what we're gonna do shortly is head over to Universal Studios Florida, get some rides in over there, and of course, we're gonna be watching Mardi Gras as well, and that'll be the next vlog coming up. Looking forward to the Mardi Gras parade very much. Before we do that, though, we're just gonna pop back into Seuss Landing and get a nice cupcake over here. It's a bit of a tradition when we come here to this park, isn't it? It is a must to get the cupcake with the little fondant book on the top. <laughs> One day we're going to come and it's not going to be there. I'll be so sorry. <laughs> so yeah, we're going to nip into Seuss. Then of course we'll come back into this park later, continue on with this vlog. We'll do Hagrid's tonight because it'll be much quieter as last ride. It's a good one to kind of join the queue for um, at the end of the day, that one. This is our go-to place for the cakes just over here. Cookers, it's called. Oh, look at all these. You've got the cat and the hat cupcake. I've had that before. And it turns like a lollipop on the top as well. That's $6. That looks quite nice there. All the places cupcake. Dual chocolate with the book on the top. Is that what you're going for, is it, Charlotte? Thing one and thing two. Down there, yeah, they're all six dollars. What should I go for today? Oh, no, we've got all these over here as well. Oh, lots of choice. Charlotte straight in. That pretzel looks good. M&M pretzel. M&M s'mores. Oh, what should I pick today? Yeah, thanks, Oh, we got our cupcakes. I've decided to go with the cat in the hat again. I thought, you know what? When you find something that you really like, you just want to have it again, don't you, really? These are a must. It's so cute. Aww. Aww. Very nice. So right, we're going to enjoy these cakes. And then, like I said, we're going to head over to Universal Studios. And that will be coming up in the next vlog for you all here on Theme Park Worldwide. And we'll see you a little bit later when we're back here in the dark. Love Islands of Adventure at night. Got some great atmospheric lighting. And then we'll get on Hagrid. We'll see the Wisdom World at night. And yeah, it's going to be really nice. We'll see you later on. It's a few hours later and we've had a brilliant evening over in Universal Studios Florida. We've got back on all of our favorite attractions in that park and also seen the awesome Mardi Gras parade. And that will be coming up in the next vlog here on Theme Park Worldwide. Action packed Universal Day today. The adventure begins again. <laughs> yeah, we've got like 50 minutes until park close. So we're just gonna enjoy some of the evening atmosphere of Islands of Adventure now, including the beautiful port of entry here. And then make our way back into the Wisdom World for a ride on Hagrid's Magical Creatures Motorbike Adventure. How beautiful is this park at night? That's a great thing about coming at this time of year. You do get more nighttime hours in the parks. Wow, look at Velocicoaster at night. And of course, a look across Islands of Adventure. Absolutely brilliant. And there's the Hulk just down there all lit up as well. As we make our way down to Hogsmeade, for Hagrid's Magical Creatures Motorbike Adventure. Well, it's advertised at 100 minutes for Hagrid's, but you know what? We're joining it. It's the end of the night. Why not? We may as well make the most of it. And look at this. You can hardly see anything other than the train just running around with the lights on. Very atmospheric out here. Oh, look at Hogwarts just up there, peeking through the trees. All it up tonight as well. And we're really looking forward to our ride here on Hagrid's to end the day. It's been a busy, action-packed day. Look at that view. We've been waiting just under 
50 minutes so far. It was advertised 100, but of course, end of the day, always a good time to join a queue. We're not too far away now. Less than 10 minutes is our record. So it should be under an hour for our ride on Hagrid's tonight. Well, we've just had a fantastic ride there on Hagrid's Magical Creatures Motorbike Adventures. And gotta say, it was advertised 100 to wait 55 at the end of the night. That is the key. If you come into this pole when it's busy, do it at the end of the night. Did you enjoy it there, Charlotte? I love Hagrid's. What a brilliant ride. I love it even more at night. It is a night coaster, that, isn't it? It is. Love the lights. Oh, I love it. All the launches on there, the drop track, the spike. Like, there's so much packed into that ride. There really is. And yeah, it's a great themed experience. It's one that's much better at night, but also even in the daytime now. It's great because all the landscape has really grown since it's opened, which has been fantastic. And that brings to the end of our day here at Universal Islands of Adventure. I've got to say, in 10 years of coming, it's been the busiest day I've seen here today. It has been packed today, but we have really made the most of it, especially using those single rider queues. Yeah, they don't always save time, but if you know the attraction, know the parks well, you can really utilize them. And you'll see that the same also in our next vlog coming up from Universal Studios Florida. Uh, but I do love Islands of Adventure. It's a great park. And it all starts, of course, with the lighthouse you can see behind us and port of entry as you're making your way down it's the soundtrack it's the theme in it's all the details uh, that really is fantastic and then all the different theme lands we've got all of our favorites in there today and Hagrid's of course at the end was great wasn't it Hagrid's is amazing I just love it along with that Velocicoaster that was riding good today wasn't it Velocicoaster is fantastic oh it really is yeah we got some uh, great forces on there and that ride we had early in the day it was quite weird actually because normally a ride like Velocicoaster uh, like an intimate LSM launch coaster it'd take a lot longer to warm up throughout the day um, but with that it was just right and amazing this morning wasn't it it was running so fast for a morning ride so i was quite surprised <laughs> really good we got on the hulk as well that was great yes it's been busy but we've made the most of it and uh, you know what we've had a good day however we've also enjoyed mardi gras over in universal studios florida and that vlog's going to be coming up we had a great time there too so make sure you come and join us so you can see that it's running through until april it's a fantastic event isn't it it was so much fun it was so cute yeah so make sure you come and join us in that vlog so you can see us at universal studios Florida for Mardi Gras. Great visit there to Iowa, fantastic park, and of course gets me very excited for Epic Universe, that new theme park opening at Universal Orlando next year in 2025. Really looking forward to that. We'll see you in the next vlog, and that leaves with one final thing to say. Get, Get out there and keep, keep on riding. riding. See you in the next video.